Over the next three weeks, 30 of Britain's most dedicated owners and their incredible everyday dogs will take part in the ultimate canine competition. Go! They'll be making a splash, swim and fetch, going all out in sprint ball, scoring goals in the penalty shootout, and jumping to victory in the dog sticker course. But there can only be one superstar dog. Happy! No! <laughs> This is Superstar Dogs, the show where everyday household pets bring their owners out for the day to compete in three rigorous athletic challenges. Today, three dogs who believe they stand out from the pack will be going nose to nose for a place in our semifinals as they chase down the ultimate prize, the title of Superstar Dog 2014, a cash prize, and a grand inauguration at this year's Crufts. Are you all ready to meet the teams? Please welcome from Cambridge, Harry and his owner, Sarah. Four-year-old Harry is a water-loving Labrador retriever. From Middlesex, please welcome Buddy and his owner, Andy. Young Buddy is a tennis ball obsessed Springer Cavalier Cross. And finally, from Manchester, give it up for Milo and his owner, Rachel. Milo is a naughty 19-month-old Labradoodle. Welcome, everybody, Sarah. Harry, are you excited about today? Very excited. And we've got three events. Are you looking forward to those? Do you think you're going to do well in all three of them? We won't be mediocre. We'll either be fantastic <laughs> or we'll, be, we'll destroy everything. Do you so. think he's going to be stronger in the pool or is he going to be stronger down here on the track? Uh, swim and fetch. He's like Superman leaping off the dock. It's his favourite thing. Excellent. Andy and Buddy, welcome. Hiya. Now, Buddy, is, uh, is he a stranger to competition? Um, not really. He won a um, wag his tail competition when he was a pup. Now, how did you teach him to wag the tail? Can we see? Oh, you, we give a little wiggle like that and <laughs> we treat him with a few oh, biscuits. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Thank you. Rachel and Milo, how are you? <laughs> well. <laughs> You're well. Are you nervous at all? Yes. <laughs> You're keeping him occupied with yeah. a little treat in your hand. Oh, yeah. Does that give us any indication that he's going to be a little out of control? Um, possibly. <laughs> it's an entertainment show. We're here to entertain. That's absolutely <laughs> right. But listen, anything with the dogs could happen today. Let's get over to the first event. It is Swim and Fetch. <laughs> a ginormous 40-foot swimming pool awaits in an event that's all about teamwork. There's no room for error as the owner must throw their dog's favorite toy beyond the correct colored flag. It's red for large dogs, blue for medium, and white for small. Then it's down to their daring dog to launch themselves off the deck or race down the ramp to retrieve their toy in the fastest time possible. The clock stops when the toy lands in the container. It's three points for top dog, two for second place, and just one for the team that makes a dog's dinner. So that's event number one, and up first, it's competitive couple Harry and Sarah. I've had Harry since he was a tiny puppy, and he's really part of the family. I love his enthusiasm and zest for life, and he's very gentle and very loving, and very handsome. Go on, Harry! Harry and I are both very competitive. <laughs> if everything he does goes right, he really could win it. On the other hand, the potential is there for a complete disaster. Harry, enough. Oh, Harry is really important to me. He's a very special <laughs> dog. Yeah, wouldn't be without him. Sarah, Harry, you look so content there, my love. He's like, He's not, focused. Now, you're a champion skier, aren't you? I used to be a long time ago. Yes. Right. I was uh, in the England freestyle ski squad competing at Ladies Aerial. Do you have what it takes to win? This event, yes, we do. As long as I get it right. Are you going to choose the deck or are you going to go off the ramp? Oh, we're going off the deck. She's going for the gusto, everybody! <laughs> All right, well, best of luck to both of you. It's time for you to swim and fetch! So here we go. Harry and okay. Sarah up first. They've Wait. chosen the deck. That should give them an advantage. Wait. A big leap here would save Wait. valuable seconds. Well, where's the playful lab we saw earlier? This one is all business. Get yourself in Referee position, Dave please. Ray. And Ray wait. of Sunshine, a respected adjudicator in the world right. of dog athletics. Dave knows his stuff. 
So Harry's a large dog. Sarah's orange knobbly thing will need to pass that red flag. Steely determination on Sarah's face. Raring to go, Harry. Are you ready? And it's in three, two, one, go! Go! And they're off. Oh, what a leap that is. But you know, Sarah's thrown that toy a lot further than she needed to. That could cost them valuable time. Textbook position that. Harry paddling back. Sarah calling Harry now. Bit of a scramble. It's in. Solid opener that. They have got to be happy. Harry, well done, boy. You're so calm. Now, look at this replay. There you go. You're throwing it right out there. Look at that leap! <laughs> Unbelievable. You said he was like Superman. The leap that he did, that was like all of the Marvel and DC comic heroes all wrapped up in one. I did throw the uh, item far too far, though. But let me tell you this. You got 16.65 seconds with your super dog there. How do you feel? Brilliant. Yeah, I'm really proud of him. Hey! <laughs> Give it up for Harry and Sarah, everybody! Up next is Couch Potato Buddy and his owner, Andy. I would describe Buddy as extremely outgoing. He is the best dog in the world. Buddy's got many human-like qualities. The way he sits on the sofa with his back against the sofa and his bum on the seat. The first time he sat in that position, we just couldn't stop laughing. To prepare for competition, we've been doing some training at home. We made a dogstacle course using some tree stumps, and he just really took to it and loved it. He's just such an adorable dog. He's super friendly, wants to enjoy every moment of his life and have fun. He's always letting you know how much he loves you and appreciates what you do for him. Go! We're quite happy, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Are you ready? He's always ready. So are you feeling any sort of pressure because Sarah and Harry did so well? They did 16 seconds, and I reckon he'll do 15 minutes. <laughs> He'll sprint from the start to the edge, he'll stop, he'll dip his toe in. He doesn't want to get his hair wet, so he'll slide in nice and gently, and then he'll go and get the ball. He's a smaller dog than the other dogs, yeah. which means you only have to throw his toy to the blue marker. Yeah. OK? <laughs> Best of luck, guys. Thank you very much. Well, Andy, a bit self-deprecating about his team's chances. Plenty of mind games, though, in this competition. Quite a time as well to beat that one set by Harry and Sarah. Into position, please. Referee Dave's calling them into position. But he doesn't like getting his hair wet. Bit like my wife in the pool on holiday. Are you ready? And it's in... Three, two, one, go! Off they go. Buddy, a medium dog, remember? So it's past the blue flag. A bit of hesitation. But he is going in. His big ears there, causing a bit of drag in the water. His little legs working like propellers. He is trying so hard. This is a very fast time, but he's casual going up the ramp, all as you like. In it goes. That is quick. The family love it. What can I say? You're smiling. It was good. It was good. It was very good. 16.65 seconds was the time to yeah. beat, and you did it in... 21.13. That's good. I'm so that is very, very good. <laughs> Two teams down, but there's one more raring to go. It's Naughty Boy Milo and owner Rachel. Milo is a Labradoodle and he's extremely naughty. He ripped up the lino, he's chewed the corner of a drawer, he's chewed around the door frames, he ripped holes in the plaster. We've had to redo the whole kitchen. My secret weapon for the show is cocktail sausages. It's the way to Milo's heart. Oh, yeah, good boy. <laughs> We've been coming down here to our local reservoir to practice go get your ball. in the hope that it'll get his speed up a lot quicker. Getting it back off him is a challenge. No, no. If Milo won this competition, I would be shocked. A lot of the other dogs would have to be having a bad day. Go get your ball. I've always dreamed of having a dog since being a really little girl, and I definitely think Milo's fulfilled that dream. Probably sometimes a bit of a nightmare, but I'll gladly take those nightmares to have him. He's my little star. You all right, Rachel? Yes. Milo, have we saved the best for last? We'll see. <laughs> he he thinks, thinks so. so. Now, he's a bit of a naughty boy. Is there anything here that could go wrong? He won't go in. He'll come back out and decide to get me wet instead. <laughs> Who knows? Anything goes with this dog. <laughs> now, your time to beat is 16.65 seconds. Are you going to go off the deck or are you going to go off the ramp? Ramp. I'm so excited about this one. Are you ready, everybody? Yeah. Woo! Let's go. OK. Let's give it up for Rachel and Milo! <laughs> Rachel and Milo going for the ramp. That's a slower route for most dogs. It could cost them valuable seconds. 
Wait. Just check out how focused this young Labradoodle is. Unshakable. Wait. Reminds me of a young Kevin Keegan. Are you ready? It's three. Wait. Two. Wait. One. Wait. Go. And here we go. A bit of hesitation off the line from Milo. He's gone down the ramp. Large dog. Remember, he's got to go past the red flag. The tail's wagging OK. She's trying to get him in. Is that a refusal? If it is, they're in real trouble. That's a refusal. Well, Dave not swayed by the crowd. He's not here to make friends, and that means we're in the reset now. Sit. Remember, one more refusal, Wait. they will be disqualified. Wait. Pressure on Milo not to let Rachel down. Wait. Rachel, the teacher, wouldn't want Are to mess around in the back of her class, would you? Three, Wait. two, one, go! Off we go for a second time. Perfect throw. It's all down to Milo now. Is he going in? Is he staying out? He's in! What a great result. They're going to post a time, that means. The crowd really getting behind him now. You know, they love this dog. Lovely, fluffy hair. Except when he comes out of the water, of course. No problem getting the ball off Milo. Rachel was worried about that. In it goes. Rachel, oh. you did really, really well. 16.65 seconds was the time to beat. Your time was... 38.63 seconds! Yeah. Give it up for Rachel and Milo! Yeah. Let's see how the leaderboard is shaping up after event number one. Naughty boy Milo and Rachel are the runt of this litter with just one point. In second with two points, it's Buddy and Andy. Flying high with three points, Superman, Harry and Sarah. It's close, but Superman Harry and owner Sarah currently top the leaderboard. But all that could change after event two, Sprint Ball. All three teams go head to head as the dogs race to clear four hurdles, retrieve a toy, and then sprint back to their owner three times in a row. Which dog will do it the fastest? And which one will balls it up? As always, there's three points for best in show, two for second place, and just one point for the dog that finishes last. Sarah and Harry, you've got the best time so far. How does that make you feel going into this next event? A little bit more confident. If he brings all the balls back and I can get them out of his mouth, we'll be fine. Andy, what do you think's going to happen? I think the hardest thing will be he likes to uh, strip the skin off of tennis balls. My dog loves doing that. <laughs> all right, Rachel, have you been training for this? We had a box in the front room that he's uh -huh. been jumping over. This is a bit different. We'll see. Well, good luck to everybody, and let's see how it all goes as we play sprint ball. Dogs need to be focused here. Ready, ready, ready. Harry looking to capitalise on that lead. There he is, cooler than a husky in a snowstorm. Bad boy Milo. With a ball. I wouldn't bet he knows at this point. He's looking a bit twitchy out there. Sit. Buddy there, a springer. Those hurdles should be no match for him. Stand by, folks. Are you ready? Referee Dave Ray calling for attention. In three, two, one. Off they go then. Quick start from all three dogs. Looks like Milo first on the ball. It's very close. Rachel's got it. Sarah struggling there. What a tight race, this one. Andy running alongside Buddy. Different tactic it seems to be working. Buddy on the second ball. Two balls apiece. Neck and neck on the final run. You know, I'm so excited I spilt my tea. One final sprint to the finish. It's all on the owners now. This is such a tough one to call. Milo's still keen to get at those Please balls. Come on in. That was absolutely gripping. All the dogs were literally running up at the same time. Milo was so focused. I'm going to take it up as a hobby, I think. Andy, buddy, the size was not a problem. No, that's why he's called a springer. He just wants to get his ball. <laughs> <laughs> and then Harry, he was just completely focused. Yeah, I couldn't have asked any more of him, actually. It was so close. Between third and first place, there was less than a second. Wow. wow. OK, in third place is Rachel and Milo. Oh. Oh. Second place is Andy and Buddy, which means Sarah and Harry are still in first place. After two events, let's have a look at which dog is leading the pack. 
Going into the final event, Blonde, Ball, of Fluff, Milo and Rachel are third with two points, meaning they'll face a 20-second penalty at the Dogstacle course. A 10-second penalty for Buddy and Andy, they're second with four points. No penalties, though, for Harry and Sarah, topping the board with six points. Perfect marks. Our final event will decide which team will be going through to our semi-finals. It's the Dogstickle Course. A marathon labyrinth of jumps, tunnels, bridges, and the mouth-watering Temptation Alley. This is the Dogstickle Course. A hard one to complete with time penalties imposed for errors. Only the fastest team will earn their place in the semi-finals. So this event really is dog eat dog. The place in our semifinals is on the line. At the bottom of the leaderboard and going first with a 20 second penalty, it's Rachel and Milo. And Rachel and Milo certainly looking to claw back some time. Rachel looking focused, Milo less so. The 19 month old has been going to classes to prepare for this event. Little sausage treat there. You know, I'm a bit partial to one of those myself. Wait. Off they go. Oh, it's a slow first jump, but he's over. Bit of trademark hesitation from Milo. We're getting used to that, aren't we? Not impressed by the A-frame at all. 15 second penalty for uh, avoiding that obstacle. Decent couple of jumps, though. Young Mancunian is he building a bit of confidence. Through the tire, he slinks. Another treat for a job well done. Oh, dear, he's gone up on that hedge. Temptation Alley is looming. Time stops here. On. Big test of the dogs will pass. So many treats here. He loves that bit of sausage, does Milo. Wait. And call your dog. Ref Dave giving the all clear. Come on, What's Milo done? He's gone for the rope. Oh, that is a disaster. And it'll be another five second penalty. No laughing matter, really. Like a dog with a bone. Straight into it. Further Wait. down the course, the clock relentlessly ticking. Under a jump. Hasn't quite got the hang of those, has he? So many penalty points building up here. He really has got to quicken. Yeah, Over he goes, that's good. Oh, yeah. Through the tunnel he goes there, very leisurely pace. I reckon I walk around the park on a Sunday afternoon quicker than Milo. Needs a big sprint over the bridge. He's got a mind of his own, has Milo the wheels falling off on this attempt now. He's gone through the tunnel, okay. He's nailed his technique on that one, hasn't he? Bit of hesitation there. Come on in. Yeah. But he's over okay this time. Is he going to give us a big finish? He's over again. In your own time, Milo, in your own time. But better late than never. And the crowd, <laughs> they just love this Labradoodle. Well done, Milo. Well done, Rachel. Now, you started with a 20-second penalty and incurred a further 100 seconds, OK? <laughs> Giving you a total time of four minutes and 42 seconds. Not bad at all. With 10 seconds on the clock, it's Buddy and Andy. As John says, 10 seconds on the clock because they're second on the leaderboard. Andy's so psyched for this. Buddy, waggliest tail champion. Stay. But he's first time on the dogstacle course, part Springer, so the jumps should Stay. not be a problem. Jump. Andy Up. gives him the off. Straight over that first hurdle. Up the A frame. A blur yeah. over the next hurdle. This is a great display, faultless so far. Through the first hoop like a Polaris missile. Sit. Temptation Sit. Alley now. We've seen Milo and Rachel go wrong here. Stay. Clock paused. Stay. All about Stay. control. And do it. Come. And he's done it. The clock back ticking. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. But he's gone for a second sniff of the bone. Would you believe it? Confirmation. And that is going to be a five-second penalty. Oh, come on. Moving further down the course, just oh, wonder whether Buddy has lost a bit oh, of confidence, lost the scent. Got over that hurdle easily enough, though. Slowing oh, at the bridge. Oh, dear, that's going to cost him. Oh, Up he goes this time. Oh, Words of encouragement from Rachel. That's great oh, to see oh, that. Through the tunnel he goes. Buddy is flying now, hopping over those hurdles like a greyhound. Incredible stuff from Buddy. A great finale. He is home. Good job, Buddy. Good job. Nice job, Andy. Thank you. Nice job, Buddy boy. 
Now, you started off really, really well, yeah. but then you had a slight problem. He's picked up a scent or something. Yeah, I think it was a big bone over in <laughs> Temptation <laughs> Alley. All right, Andy, you began this event with a 10-second penalty, and you incurred a further 35 seconds of penalties, which gives you a time of 2 minutes and 11 seconds. That's, That's really awesome. What up, buddy? So, pen owner Sarah and Superman Harry live up to his name. Top of the leaderboard, no penalties means this team already have the advantage, far and away the favourites, but two minutes, 11 seconds, that is hard to beat. And the very competitive Wait. Sarah is well aware of that. Wait. Harry focusing on the obstacles. Composed Wait. dog, we've seen them go to pieces Wait. before on this course. Okay, Off he goes then. <laughs> Under that first hurdle, that'll Over. be a penalty. Over. Oh, Harry, Harry. oh where's he gone Wait. now? Wait. Another penalty Over. for that. Sarah Over. somehow got him back on course. That is neat and tidy. Big shout from Sarah. Temptation Wait. Alley looms. This team means business. And call your dog. Through he goes. That's a good boy from Sarah. Off he goes again. And he's been tempted by Temptation Alley. Enticed by the same bone as Buddy. What will that do to their lead? Skip the weaves as well. Another 15 second penalty. Over the hurdles. Another no, no. little error there. Tunnel. Surely he'll go through the tunnel, OK? Ouch. Yes, he does. Good boy. And he's gone under the Over. jump. Another penalty. Steady. Over the bridge. Touch. That's boy. decent. That's decent. Tunnel. Quick touch. Tunnel again. Over. No problems there. Over. Another little mishap. He's gone yeah. underneath. Very quickly, though, to the finish. They came here to win. But have they done enough to beat Andy and Buddy's time of 2 minutes 11? Well done. Thank you. Well done, Harry. Harry. Oh, no. Sarah, how do you feel right now? Really disappointed. Oh, <laughs> but you did a really good job. You can do a lot better than that. All right, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK, so with 95 seconds worth of penalties, you managed to do it in 2 minutes and 31 seconds, which means well, Buddy yeah. and Andy oh, has yeah. a place in our semi-finals. Andy, Buddy, how do you feel? <laughs> Absolutely amazed. To, to win today against Superdog, and this lovely ball of fluff here is just absolutely So are you surprised? Uh, yeah, I, I am, I am. It's not over yet for you two guys because the two fastest losers at the end of our heats will also qualify for the semi-finals. Milo and Rachel clocking in a time of 4 minutes 42. That might not be enough to see them make a comeback. For Harry and Sarah, though, a time of 2 minutes and 31. They've got to be in with a chance, and they'll be keeping a keen eye on this as the series progresses. So that's it for today. Buddy and Andy are heading out to celebrate in style or curl up by the fire, more likely. For more information about today's events, head to our website. See you next time when three more family pets will join us here in the arena to compete for the title of Superstar Dog. Goodbye, everybody.